What's up, everybody? Um, I have Photoshop CS4 open, and uh, we're gonna go off. We're gonna go over all the preferences and um, settings for this. Um, so here we go. Um, first thing I like to do is auto save. Um, have a nice auto save going because um, often when you're working with a lot of layers, especially when you're doing um, UV mapping, uh, it gets pretty intense and can crash even on this. It just it becomes unstable and crashable. So I like to um, keep an autosave going. So uh, basically we just go over the performance. Um, if you're like me and you have a lot of RAM, um, anything over 4 gigs. Um, if you have 2 gigs, you should probably keep it around here, 1024. If you have, um, you know, if you have more, like 3 gigs, I'd probably go around 2 if you're on a 32-bit. Um, but if you're on a 64, you can go to the max, which is um, 3200. So that's basically it. Um, scratch disk is exactly that. It's a safe place where if this thing crashes, it's going to dump everything. So, um, you know, uh, use it on whatever you need to. Um, here's all your cursors. I'd rather have precise. Than, um, this thing kind of messes me up a little bit. And that's basically it. There's um, not much settings for any OpenGL or anything in Photoshop. Uh, just make sure you have autosave on. Uh, as soon as I find it, I'll show it to you. Also change this. You actually want this around 36. Four, no, 40. 40 is good. Cache levels is how much it's going to um, save. Um, make sure you have OpenGL and check your advanced. Sure, that's all good. Here, if you have, um, you can specify a plugins folder um, if you have one. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Infamous. Uh, so we're gonna go through After Effects now. So here we go. Uh, the first thing we need to do is autosave. Make sure your autosave is set up, and um, you know, every 15 minutes or so. Um, this is how many times it'll rewrite itself. Uh, five's fine. Uh, next thing you want to do is your previews, and you want to go to OpenGL. Um, make sure this is the same number as the amount of RAM you have. Um, if you have Windows 7, um, it's a little different, and I'll show you why. Um, as you can see here, Windows 7 now allows you to integrate your um, extra RAM into your video card. So even though my video card only comes with 512, I dedicated another 4 to it. Um, so it has a total of 4 gigs memory. So uh, this is what I would set my After Effects to. And that's basically it. So we're going to set it. If you have XP, uh, you don't have that feature. Just go with what's on your video card. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, just make sure you have 40 undos of levels. Make sure you auto save. Um, next, this is your appearance. This just makes it darker and lighter. Um, uh, for this, if you have more than two cores, you can do multi um, render frames. Uh, just check this, and two gigabytes is fine. Um, you can even go 2.8, and that's about it. Uh, heavy core, so I can just leave um, it like that. And that's basically it. <clears throat> 